you know, what are we doing on this planet? You know, I get confused when I look around at the world and I see everybody's running around. And, you know, as Bob Dylan said, he not busy being born is busy dying. And yet nobody's trying to figure out what's the cause of death and what happens when you die. I mean, that to me is the only thing really that's of any importance. The rest is all secondary. Hello, welcome to what I'm thinking about, episode 36. I'm back in America now, for the first time in three years. Last time I was out here, it was 2019, and uh, it really does feel like that time has passed. When I last made a video out here, I would say um, I was still young at heart, um, following a very vlog formula for my videos. Um, I'm not going to do that this year for this episode, uh, I'm going to do it like how I do my usual episodes mainly because I've outgrown that style of filmmaking for this series. I've actually been back out here now since the 29th of June, uh, and since I've been back here, it feels like I've been out here for ages. And when I say what I say in that regard is I don't mean it, it feels like no time's passed since I was last out here. It actually feels like this specific trip has been going on for ages, like I've been out here for like a year. Um, which is fantastic to myself because that's what I wanted this trip to do. I wanted this trip to uh, not fly by, I wanted to embrace the time I had with my friends again. But due to Covid and not being out here for so long, I think I forgot uh, why I love coming to America so much. You know, there are things like how the sunsets are completely different to anywhere else in the world. Uh, the culture and landscapes are impressive but strange to someone like me. The heat is incredible uh, don't get this type of heat at home and it's it's lovely to be able to just lie down uh, in the humid weather which is every day even if it rains and then obviously the places are fantastic I forgot how much I love going places like Strasbourg uh, to the lakes the beaches around here uh, they, they all hold very important memories to me and the moment I got back to these places it was like uh, you know it just opened up a chain of memories that we hadn't talked about for so long. And then obviously the most important thing uh, about these trips to me are of course the friends. Um, being reunited with my friends who, as a collective, we haven't been together uh, since 2019. And it's fantastic that we've been able to have at least, you know, two and a half weeks together to enjoy the company and um, just have a lot of fun. Uh, also being legal for the first time over here to drink uh, has been a great bonus, thank God. Um, so we've I've got to embrace a new side of the American culture, which is drinking in their bars, um, which are a lot different uh, to the UK, I'd say. But uh, we've met some interesting like strangers going to these bars, and all in all, the majority have been really, really lovely and. Uh, really enjoyed uh, you know us being British and but they've been very very sound and opened some eyes to 
Uh, maybe I was judging a book by its cover of most American people. I don't know. It's an interesting one. Hello. So I'm. Hello. Wait, they can't hear me. Hello. I'm James Horsey. I'm Caleb Richardson. Oh, uh, Brendan Galliotti. And I'm Lucas Cole. Lovely, fantastic. So, I think out of the group, you were the first person I talked to. I th- was I. I think I was the one to reach out to you, and then Caleb eventually reached out too. Yes, yeah, so it was sort of both of you, but you were the one that I talked to online first. I first met you in 2014, is the first time I spoke to you. Yeah. Yeah. Is it met or spoke? Spoke. spoke. I don't know. No? It was late 2014? No, it was the start of 2015, I think. Ah, okay. You were close. (laughs) Good try. (laughs) Good try. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, didn't we have like a busted group call at the beginning and then you and I just talked a lot? No, no, no. First time I talked to you was just me and you. And then we started doing the group calls. Oh. Yeah, and it was just I you. It, I think that was because the group wanted to know like what you, who yeah, you yeah. were and they, if they would be comfortable with adding you. And so I was like, no, oh, I'll call him, sweet guy. Yeah, yeah. But this is when we were messaging when YouTube still had the message yes, boards. Yes, when the message boards on YouTube were still around. Like they got rid of that. Yeah. I think we met you just because, again, like Brendan said earlier, it was because of the YouTube community pages. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was more Caleb got in touch with you. Yeah, it was one of those like group uh, upload video things. Uh, what was it called? Like TTT? Commu- I don't know. Oh, the community. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah, community yeah. ones. Anyway, but yeah. Um, Caleb missed me sort of late 2014, and that's sort of when I first spoke to Brett and Brendan and Caleb. Yeah. I yeah. guess our conversation must have come after that. Well, it was, yeah, just being in the same group was yes. sort of then that you started yes. being in all the group and added as a collective. Uh, and then the first time we met, do you remember that? Yes. Brighton Model World. Brighton Model World, yeah, yeah, 2016 in Brighton. Yes. Told my parents that I wasn't, I didn't know you and I'd met you that day. Oh, did you? I, I thought like that they might have known that I was, might have known me ish. I didn't know that they thought that was the first time I was meeting you. Yeah, because they didn't know I had online friends. <laughs> That's quite funny. Do you remember the first time we met? That was 2017, yeah. and that was when we pulled up to your house, yeah. blasting Castle on the Hill. <laughs> <laughs> and then we did a loop around my block yeah. whilst I sat on your lap. <laughs> and then oh, I constantly talked about you until 2017 when Caleb came down. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's all the sort of prelude. I mean, I, I spoke to your parents at Brighton Model 1. You did, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I thought I did. Yeah, yeah, you definitely did. And then the first time we actually met in person was 2018. Yeah, that's when you. Yeah, when we the train station. And you picked and me at two a.m. Yeah, yeah, and you picked me up from the train station, and um, there was no real like hello or anything, was there? It was no, just, it was just like I hate like it was it was like yo. Like, we, it was more like yo, what's up? We hug, and then yeah. we just got in the car and started talking like talking like we like, like, like nothing had happened. Like, like, like we just saw them like a couple weeks like, ago. Yeah, like we'd always met in person together. Mm-hmm. Since then, I've I've probably seen, apart from Lucas, I've probably seen you the most. Yeah. I'm just there all the time. You're always in the UK, so I see you most frequently. And then obviously then COVID happened, so we didn't do a trip. Did you see Caleb during the COVID era? Yeah, he came over for New Year's of uh, 21. That's it. For you, for this trip, obviously you were here a few days before? I was literally just the day before. Oh, the day before. Oh, right. Okay, so you actually hadn't really done anything before. No, I came in at like midnight. Yeah. So obviously it's been a while since we've done one of these trips as a whole, especially in the States for us too. Yes, three years. Yeah, you're ha- happy that you came back? Yeah. Yeah, so obviously w- with these trips, I think this one's been a lot more relaxed, laid back. Oh, this is like way more relaxed. I mean, like, plus with like the weird car situation that we have. But yeah. like, in all honesty, it's just, it's been so long since we've seen each other. I think just, just chilling out, like just chilling on the couch, like slouching back and just <laughs> watching like YouTube and movies and listening to the birds 
scream like it's yeah. I don't know, it's just chill. And then every you know every night, every other night we'll go out somewhere. Yeah, exactly. And then we'll have friends come see us, like our good friend Matt Matt, Matt you know. Mashad. Do you wanna get in the frame or? Oh is, am I in the frame now? No, we, you could just say hello. Oh. Hey everybody. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What's been your favorite part of the trip so far then? Ooh. This year's one. Ooh. I don't know. Going to bars definitely. Bars being league. being legal is definitely a big big plus. Uh, probably not going to the crab barn. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard one. Um, because they were all, I enjoyed all the times that we all the stuff we did. We had the double Strasbourg trip. Yeah. Um, honestly, I think it was just the filming videos together because we haven't done that since like 2019. Even 2019, we barely filmed anything yeah. together. We did that that one work project, but that was it. I don't know. I think I think the Strasbourg days have been probably some of the best days. That's that's what Brendan said. Brendan said exactly the same. He said they're probably the most fulfilling ones. Yeah, because it's always that thing where you think when we're going here, you're going Strasbourg. That's the near thing that we sort of always related to. Mm-hmm. Um. I've enjoyed the drinking this year, though. Yeah. That's been good fun. We've had some good nights. Yeah, the, it, it's honestly been just such a good ride. Like, I feel like every night has just been a good night. I don't know, just chilling. It's been nice not to work. Just yeah. being, it's a proper holiday, this one. Yeah, we have, we've done less activities this year. Yeah. The, the only one, I agree with you on your statement of bars are the best, mm. but out of the other two, we're the only one who set the bars. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did they say? What Strasbourg. <laughs> Oh. They both it, but I said the bars were the best bit. Being able to drink over here, it's, yeah. it's been a nice change. Would you say this one's been a lot different? Because in comparison to recent years, I think we've always done something. This one's just been a lot of days where we've just chilled and stuff as well. Yeah, this is definitely like the hangout trip. Yeah, it's like all the days that we would like you know throughout a year if we all lived together. It's just compressed. Yeah, no, a hundred percent, I agree. Strasbourg was really good, but like, and I wouldn't say there's one specific bar night. That, that was, was the better. It was just going yeah, to, as a collective. Yeah. 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 No, I I agree. It has been fun. We've had some good nights at at those places. Mm. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It'd be cool to try more bars next year. Yeah. Yes, a lot more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is probably uh, the most important thing that you gain from doing the trips? Um. I think it's realizing that you have people there. Like there are people out there who really do care about you. Like. Who the f- who who I'm, I'm not trying not to curse. Who I can curse. Like who the, who the fuck goes out of their way to spend thousands of dollars every year because it's the only time we can really do it just to go see some random goofballs from the internet that you've met through the internet. Yeah. It's a little. It's like it's it's a weird thing because your brain thinks it's a bad thing at first and then it twists and it goes. This is actually one of the greatest things ever. I don't know. I I, I don't I don't know if I necessarily gain something it's just an enjoyable experience right like it's seeing people that you don't see at, at all often you know it's people two people i've not seen for three years yeah. someone i've not seen for well okay you and Je- caleb i guess i have seen fairly recently but yeah. you know what I mean? it's not frequent it's not like you can just pop down the weekend yeah. and, and see them you know and that's even the same for us too yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's, there's still you know many hours in between i think it's uh it's an I, I wouldn't say, I, I, I don't know how to put it into words, but it's just a very, very good experience to see everyone. I think, I don't know, I think it is just kind of like you do, it's something you do for the soul, mm. where like, I don't know, you just got to have those, that time with friends yeah. and stuff. A little bit of cleansing. Yeah. A little bit of a detox. Yeah, well, after the trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I will need a detox after the trip. This has been a very drinking heavy holiday. Yeah, yeah, it has. I think we've... <laughs> drunk every day nearly i think every single day yeah yeah i had one day one day off that's oh yeah and the, the only day i had off was when you went to new york yeah that's when i didn't drink either yeah damn that's bad oh, <laughs> we've got wales <laughs> even more <laughs> yeah we've known each other for a while it's weird it is weird because i don't think about it just being like a few years it just feels more like a lifetime mm. it's just like it's just so used to each other so like when we first met in new york at the trace train station i was just like just treated it like you know i saw you a couple of weeks yeah. ago like i said before yeah just sort of the enjoyment of doing nothing yes oh yeah i love doing nothing <laughs> yeah so it's quite a shame it's come it's to its end but not really for you we've yeah. got we're going to wales then but obviously i've got to depart from you for a few days yeah and then i'm back with you but then you're back yeah um and obviously you're just going to be super busy then when you're in the uk yeah there's a lot of work to do <laughs> Yeah, it's a friendship that will never end, really. 
could. Fuck you. Right? <laughs> uh, fuck you. <laughs> we'll wrap this interview up saying, uh, I've been James Horsley. I've been Caleb Richardson. I'm Brendan, the guy, Galliotti. And I've been Lucas Cull. I can leave you to crack on with the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to say? No, he's, he's done as well. <laughs> <laughs>